everyone welcome to my channel my name is Kyra and we are here today for a bit of an evening vlog um I didn't even there's my light ah oh, so beautiful um alone in the house my well I'm almost alone in the house my kiddo is in bed, uh, going to sleep. My wife is out for a work function. And so I'm alone for at least another hour and a half. So what I want to do is, um, there's been a lot happening spiritually and just a lot happening in my life. Stay tuned. I'm going to be filming my May Sparks video soon. Um, although it's going to be May, a tiny bit of sparks and a lot of talking about what the fuck happened <laughs> in May <laughs> and just kind of talking about what I learned. Um, <coughs> but I started calling May mayhem because that is what it was for me. It was a lot of mayhem. So I'm in the place where in order to kind of get myself back into myself, I kind of need to do like some resetting. And part of that is like my journal videos this month, it, there might only be one and it might just be all in one because I need to really focus and think. I'm having trouble doing that. So I can't do my videos like I would, look at my kitty, <laughs> like I would normally with um filming and and such. Certainly not the astrology goal planning video which is linked up above uh, my other ones that playlist is up above you can check that out so I'm gonna do kind of a just a I'm gonna do my journal stuff and just get it set up and just do a video maybe two depending on how I feel to get it up as like a reset clean slate reset the other thing is because of the spiritual stuff that's been going on I want the spiritual stuff going on has been calling me to do more spiritual stuff. But my altar, I feel like in order to do the more spiritual stuff, I need to deal with my altar. Um, with like decluttering and reorganizing kind of thing. So my plan for this video, it's evening right now. I am in my jammies. So we're going to have like a little pajama party while I vlog. I'm going to turn you around and give you face down view while I do my evening uh, journaling. I will speed it up and put music to it. I'm going to take down this and I'll tell you why in a little bit. And then we'll go and depending on how we're doing for time, um, well, we're probably going to do it anyways. We're going to crack into my altar and get that sorted. So. Let's get you set up and I'm going to go into my journal. So this is just my regular evening planning I'm doing. All I've done so far is I filled in this little square of my yearly tracker. So that is what we're doing first. Let's do this. So, um, in case you were wondering, since we're here doing this, my header for my dailies, I've been consistently using for a few months now, and I really love it. I put the day of the week, the date, I put the moon phase, and then I put the glyphs for where the moon is that day. Because the moon starts the day in Taurus and moves into Gemini throughout the day, I put both those glyphs. And you just read it left to right. And then here I will put if I have any aspects or if I have any transits going on. So tomorrow Mars in the sky is conjuncting my Jupiter. This is not my transit. 
this is a transit that's going on. So this is going on for everyone that Mars is conjunct Jupiter that day. And I've already written it down, so it's going to stay there. And then at this point, I'll just look at my Google Calendar, which is up on my screen beside me, and I'll write down my things for the day. So I'm going to speed this back up and get back to that. And that is that my journal is all filled for the evening so this fucker gets closed up on to the next task so now that my journal is done let's talk about this behind me we're gonna ignore this desk for now this desk is getting turned into my apothecary which I think I talked about in my last vlog which is up above this though a couple months ago I started this and I really love it. I really, really love it where I would set it up. <clears throat> I would set up a crystal grid. <coughs> After I did my astrological goal planning, I would set up a crystal grid for the month to sit there and work the energies while I would be doing my work. Here's the problem I'm running into. I do a lot of work at my desk. And I'm... This keeps getting pulled and messed and the crystals were falling all month or I have to put my book here because I have to move things for work. Okay, if that was a weird jumpy cut, I'm sorry. My cats are fighting with my dog, so I had to intervene. So now my doggy poo is right there. Cora. Hi, baby. Yeah. One of my cats is a bit of a bully. And uh, they like to pick on Cora. Anywho. Um, so what I'm finding is that I keep setting up my desktops in too cluttered of a way. I haven't figured out the way to set them up so that way they have the functional elements I need without being cluttered. But they're a big mess. So I need to clear this off. I'm sad. I tried, like, I already had spent time tucking this sheet back so that way hopefully it would sit better. But it's still, it's still not, like, it's still getting in my way. Because if I set this up with crystals, sometimes I need to put my, my book here off to the side so I can do my reading on this space. Or I'll go to do my film my journaling and this is in my way. This little caddy, which has my all my quick grab. So I've got my my markers from the themes for my month, all my gel pens, which I use for my your uh, daily card draws, and I have my charm cast tarot back here. Um so it this just it isn't functional. So I need to change it. I'm not 100% sure at this moment what all I'm going to put on here. Um, so, but I know I need to clean it up. So I've already started fiddling, but let's go ahead. I'm just going to get this cleaned up. Because this sits here in the evening. I like it to be where I can just grab it and go in the morning. Um, but the rest of it, this goes in this drawer. Um, this is my ancestor candle, which I really struggle to, um, I've learned in my practice, A, I'm good at quick fire things. I'm not good at spells and rituals and shit that I have to do for over days at a time. I'm just not good at that kind of consistency, at least not right now. Um, like it has to, for things to work for me to keep up with them, it has to hit that sweet spot in my brain and it has to get fully integrated. And 
the only thing in my life I've been able to fully integrate and keep a consistent practice on where I'm doing it every single day is my bullet journal. And even that's not perfect. Some days I just don't do it. Um, sometimes I used to have, I don't as much anymore, but I used to have months where I don't, I, I wouldn't touch it. Um, almost every year there would be at least one month. Like, look at, I really want to find a way to use this. Um, although it does bother me knowing that it's backwards. So maybe I'll just hang it up as a nice wall hanging. I don't know. Anyways, uh, it, there used to be at least one month every year where I would sit there and I would just forget about my, I wouldn't forget about it. I just wouldn't, wouldn't have the energy or the spoons, you might say, or the spell slots is what I would say. I, I just wouldn't have it in me to... Ah, ouch. I just wouldn't have it in me to, to do that, to do my bullet journal. So I, so I wouldn't. I'd like my dragon to stay here and I could still do a little, I could still do a little guy, a little setup there. I'm not sure. So I, that's as cleared as that's getting for today. Now we have to go and look at my altar. So before I fully set up the camera, here is what I'm dealing with. There's cat, Rosa, Rosa. Hey, look, isn't she pretty? She's a good girl. Up there, I have a puzzle box, which needs to be moved. Um, this is set up how I like it right now. I've got some things going on on the side, which I like. All of my, my tools, which I love. That needs to go away. This needs to be cleaned and go away. This is lilac water, which I made. So it needs to be added to my ingredient shelf how fucking cool is this thing um i'm gonna put it up there with my other water that's moon water lilac water uh, i need to collect some storm water haven't had a chance oh wait i have i have snowstorm water anywho um so and the deal is, I've moved my crystals back in here, and that's great. So this is where my crystals live now. Once I've got this, like, fully organized, and I feel like I'm at a natural stopping point, I'll do another declutter. But then there's this drawer, and this happened, <laughs> this happened when I um, did a different decluttering thing, and then I needed to put this shit away, so I just shoved it all in here. And then, one sec... And then I have this drawer, which is decently organized, but it's still a problem. That should not be in here. This is a heavy thing. It needs to go underneath. Okay, I'm now sitting on my floor to show you the rest of the issue. It's a big mess. So it makes it very hard to, like, go into here. Now, not all of it's a big mess, but this part, I kind of want to go through and, like, determine if I want everything that's in here. I've got some dust floaties going on. That's lovely. Um, but in order to put the stuff that's up here, the candle holder and that away, I need to fix this up. So I've got my, my, uh, YouTuber arm <laughs> out to help us and be a friend. So let's stick you in there. Okay. So I'm now on the floor in front of my altar. Uh, this is the best camera angle I could get. Here behind my couch is where I store a couple paintings that we haven't put back up on the walls. Ever since we almost moved, we still haven't fully, like, 
put back up all the paintings. Um, so that's something that we still need to work on. It's actually one of the next big projects I want to do because I've got to get this house better. I have to. And my drum, which we don't have a place for. We have a few instruments over here. I have my uh, keyboard that we just don't have a designated space to set them up. And we're also like, read it, we're reluctant to let them go. Um, but on the left hand side of my altar, you saw my drawers, which those are pretty good. I just need to figure out the rest. Candle holder, chalice. Um, I definitely want to keep my chalice. I love this. It is stunning. It needs to be cleaned up a bit. But like, look at this gorgeousness. Got it at one of my favorite old shops that closed. Uh, this is one of my old time and favorite candle holders. Um, the candles I currently have don't really fit in it, but I'm at the point now where I'm just, I'm at the point now where I just have to, um, I have to use up the candles I have, and then I'm going to start buying beeswax and rolling candles so I can determine the thickness so I can make sure they fit. The other thing though, is that I don't, I don't, have a lot of candles out for decoration anymore. I used to put candles on my altar to just like set the space. Um, I don't know if I want to do that anymore. Um, I also used to spend a lot more time at my altar. This was back when my altar was in my bedroom where I had a door that I could close. So when I wanted to be at my altar, I could go in and close the door. I do miss having my my altar in a room with a door. That said, I do have more space now with Cameron being in school, albeit it's almost summer break. Um, but with Cameron being in school, Zariah is respectful. So even, oh my gosh, my camera keeps like, hold on. Um, my camera's just gonna slowly move down and down. Sorry. Um, when I want to do ritual in the evenings, Raya is extremely respectful and like she doesn't say anything about it. Um, so I can do that. It's just a matter of what. So the big problem I was having, and I've also got this uh, glass box, which I love, but it is just a tad broken. Um, I've debated just detaching the lid entirely and just having a glass box. Um, I'm not currently using it, but I don't think I want to get rid of it. No, I think I might still use it and I don't want to create a bunch of waste. Um, the big problem I was running into with all my stuff, this is the box that my selenite dagger goes in. I don't want to get rid of this, but I can tuck this. I can tuck this if it'll just fucking cooperate. Yeah. Victory. Um, the, the drawers behind the drawers in my altar behind there, there's a bit of space cause there's an old piece of wood on the bottom. Adjust the camera. Um, so I have space. I used to tuck tarot boxes back there and I can tuck those back there. So the problem I'm having, is determining what activity I do in which space. I have many, I'm very blessed that I have quite the setup. Like half of the living room is just mine. Um, I've got that desk behind me, which I want to set up as like my apothecary desk. I'm hoping to, I, I'm studying herbalism and I'm hoping to maybe someday make some herbal things. So that would be the place where I would make herbal things that I would sell to other people if I decide that I want to do that. Whereas the shelf here with my altar, those are my spell ingredients. So that desk isn't set up yet because I haven't had the funds to 
to make a purchase for herbalism stuff. Um, speaking of funding, if you want to help support me in my work, I have a, um, I have a Patreon and I'm going to have my website up soon. I do perform readings. Either my website will be in the description box where you can check out my readings or my email, my professional email will be in there and you can email me and ask me about it because I'm just, at the time I'm filming this, I'm finishing setting up my website. Got another little box. Uh, this one's not actually mine, but I know I can tuck it there now. Um, balls that we use for we used for making um, a wish ball for the year. So we've got four more of those that I think I can tuck in a better spot. We shall see. Um, so. I run into this issue of like delineating what I'm going to do in what space. And because until I like delineate it properly, I can't quite tell jar, jar, how to organize my space. So that desk behind me is my apothecary desk. Lots of jars. These ones are lidless jars. So I use them for putting shit in that doesn't require me to have a lid. Um, I actually need one of these for in the kitchen. A little fairy house I made. Um, and then those are going to be going back. I just have some more things I can tuck behind the box that my belt comes in. And, oh, this is hefty. Um, well, I guess I'm not going to tuck that. I have my golden unicorn. I know what I want to do with this. Um, I want to give it to my son. I'm just not sure if he's old enough. I might be able to put it in a safe space. If I talk to him, maybe I can give it to him if he promises not to play with it. Because it's heavy. But now, hopefully I shouldn't have, have enough room to tuck these. <clears throat> okay, those are tucked, so that frees up some space. Put my jars back. So... It's all about how I try and figure out how to conceptualize the way I use my space. Because I, I can't visualize in my head the way some people can. So, until I get an idea, I can't set it, I can't figure out how I want to set it up. So we've got my apothecary desk, then my desk. The thing is, right now, a lot of the stuff I do, I don't come to my altar for. And I adore my altar. Um, I am, I admit, feeling a bit, a bit lackluster about it just because, like, I have to stand at it. I like, I would love an altar type desk set up, which I'm hoping to work on, but that's a whole other thing. Have this big conch shell. I got this. I got this a few years ago. Um, I don't know if I feel like I need to keep this. So basically that's been my issue. I haven't I haven't been able to figure out fairy ring um how to set up my altar. Apparently someone told me in that vlog video that this um is an old like incense burner which is really cool. There we go. Um so that hangs like that. Isn't it gorgeous? 
I love it so much. I just want to determine where I want to put it. It looks like someone kept a plant in it because there's all sorts of like watermarks. I've got this house, which I got for Christmas several years ago from Zariah. I like to use it in part of my altar setup. Um, I just don't, I don't do altar setups like I used to. Like, I like my altar setups, but what I've determined I like doing is I have a very top part of my altar and I want to set that up. Um, here's a very stunning, I got this at the same place I got the chalice. Um, this is just an absolutely stunning decanter bottle, which I love. Really good lighting to see that the, gra the glass is actually like a olive yellowy green. Um, I want to set up the top row as like a beautiful altar. And then, and like the backboard around the mirror can function that way as well. And then the shelf in front of my altar, or the like shelf over top, I like to keep as like a working space. Here's, I've got a Durga statue. I think I want her to go back up, but I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> you ever have those times where you just everything you think about you're just like no I don't know that's what I feel like little hedgehog I know where we want to set up our our fairy altar um The place we want to set it up, unfortunately, I did injure my poor fairy, um, but when she sits like this, you can't really tell. Um, the place where we want to set up the fairy altar is currently, I, I want to set it up in my kitchen window well, um, but it is currently needing some work. Like, it's... It's more of this whole decluttering thing that I was talking about in that last video. Oh, don't drop shit. Don't. Oh, fuck. I have another one of these. I really like these. Um, I like setting up mirrored things with, like, little... Ooh. I might have an idea for these. I have my jewelry set up in my bedroom with my desk I might be able to use these in part of that setup because I have this big glass cabinet that's the same aesthetic as this and this would look really good with like my bracelets um and such in it anyways the thing with our house is we have a bunch of half projects done because a lot of our projects require moving pieces that we just don't use anymore or that we haven't been in a position to finalize and fix yet. I have these matching candle holders. I love these. These are perfect for the way I work with candles now, which is what makes me wonder about if... <sighs> I'm a bit all over the place, but you're... it's witchy rambling at least. It's what makes me wonder about like this because I used to set up my altar and I've got some old videos you could check out I'll link some I used to set up my altar and I would I would spend time at it do like I would do my readings at my altar because that was the space I had to do it I didn't have a desk I didn't have all of this other stuff that I have now um, I think I finally figured out how to fix the camera so it'll stop tilting down. So candle holders like this, I used to set up on my altar, but now I like the, 
the main shelf of my altar to be clear and ready for me to work. Because I used to spend a lot of time, the, the time I would spend at my altar would be like sitting and doing reading and contemplating. And nowadays, if I want to sit at my altar, I want to spend time. I want to do work. This big ass candle holder thing. I don't know if I care about this anymore. But I admit, I have a lot of trouble letting go of altar type items. Look at this guy. I saved this from Value Village. I found it at a thrift store. It is solid, like honey calcite or something like that. It is solid. It has a bit of a chip, but it is solid. And I got it for six fucking dollars. And this shit would be expensive. Um, I have trouble getting rid of this stuff. Stump. Because... Well, you kind of never know what you're going to want to put on an altar. And I have this beautiful thing as well. This I bought, I actually bought specifically for a different thing. So I think I'm ready to... I just don't know if this is me. I don't think this is me. So I think I'll offer that to Zariah. Another big candle holder. I love this one. I've used it a lot. Look at all the wax on it. It makes it even cooler. I have my stained glass that I made. I love this thing. I don't know where to put this yet. I'm going to... I'm definitely not, like, I made this. Um, I just don't have a spot for it right now. Oh, and I didn't show you, I have this star candle holder. Um, a little glass candle holder goes in here. Love this. It's one of my favorite pieces. It's super fucking pagany. Um, apparently, it's a hat. Anywho. It's just a lot of confusion in there. And for anyone who is curious, this box that was in the back of my altar there is full of more candle holders and things. I got these for um, when I did Toronto Pagan Pride Day. My Lotus candle holder. I do love this. Um, I love the Lotus. I'm not using it right now. Yeah, see? One of these. So... One of these goes in here, boom, and then you have a candle in there, and I love this thing. But this is going, this is like, this is just a bunch of assorted little things. Um, so, my plate candle holders, these are the candle holders I really like to use. I like setting up a spell candle on it. Um, so, I'm going to... See if I can get this back in here. Okay, I'm going to put the stuff away in the cupboard and then I will show you how it looks at the end. Okay, so here is what it's looking like now. Down here, I've got the three glass things. I'm going to bring them into my room and see if I can make them work in there. I might not do that tonight. I might just stick them up on my altar. Here, I've got this. This I've always kept 
This had cold 911 tea in it, and it reminds me of a first aid kit. So I've always wanted to build to create a magical first aid kit that I kind of put in my purse and take with me. So maybe one day I'll have a really little tarot that'll fit in here and I can put some crystals and stuff. But so that's what that is. But I don't think it needs to go under here. Um, I mean, I could put it there. Um, I'm just afraid I'm going to forget about it again. So I think I'm going to put it in my drawer instead. Um, so that's this all done. So I'm going to close that up. And up here, I have put the things that I don't want to keep under there right now. I want to put these, the glass in my room. These, I'm going to see if my wife wants them. And then here, um, and same with this, which she initially bought this candle holder. I did not. And now she has more space. She can store her own fucking shit. And then here is the unicorn I'm going to talk to my son about. I cleared out this drawer of the bags, so I now have this drawer empty. Um, this second drawer is still, like, chaotic, but I don't, like, I have a lot of storage space right now. I can store my stuff in here. I can also, I also have, see, this is part of the mess I need to deal with. I also have this cupboard I've got these drawers. I've got that whole thing my computer is on is full of storage. Then I've got my desk. And then I've got this desk. I have a ton of space. The problem right now is while I'm still figuring out how how I want to do things and what stuff I'm actually wanting to keep and what stuff I'm wanting to dive more into, I'm I'm not sure how to organize things. So there could be stuff in my desk that I actually do want to store in here. Um, now that I've got more space because this drawer, sorry, there's still lots of space in this drawer. I'm going to tuck this guy in here. Um, so I mean, I have, I have a ton of space to play with. So that's not really a concern. It's more about finding my way so I can find my way to organize, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it. It's after 10 o'clock now, I think. Yeah, it's 10.06. Um, my wife should be on her way home. Oh, wait. And see, here's what I was talking about. That shelf up there, I want to set up like an altar. So I need to find a place to put my hat. Um, I should be able to put it with my coats. And then here, I the back wall around my mirror is also like an altar. And then here I've got all my, my sacred beloved tools and a couple of decorative elements. I've got my wand, a couple of candles that I'm finishing, my bell, my cauldron, my incense burner, um, just a couple of my most beloved magical stones, a Hecate box, Medusa, this like Medusian Gorgon dagger. And then this place I want to keep clear because I want to be able to do work. I want to be able to come to my space and have it clear so I can think and flow and do spell work on the fly because there have been way too many times when I'm like, oh, I want to do something. And then I come here and it's a big mess. And I'm like, well, I guess I'm not going to. I might be okay with storing some things along the underside, like some ingredients or such, depending on how, if I can get proper storage things so it looks nice, but not necessarily. And this is why I like this shelf, because I have everything at a grab. But that is where I'm going to leave it, because it is after 10 o'clock now. My wife should be on her way home any minute, hopefully. And 
today started my Venus return, so I want to sit down and do a tarot reading for that. I hope you I hope you enjoyed this witchy ramble vlog kind of thing. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you did. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up to show me that you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers. And let me tell you, YouTube membership is coming as soon as I can unlock it. Um, I'm going to be moving my patron, my Patreon benefits over to YouTube membership because I like the user interface of YouTube membership better. I have so many ideas and so many things I'm so many, I'm so excited about. Uh, and stay tuned because if you're enjoying my decluttering bullshit depth year, this, ooh, hold on, this is one of the next things to be dealt with. But for now, I'm going to go. Have a good night. Lots of love. Bye.